So when working at your bench, when you're making your jewellery, what do you use to measure? My name's Andrew Berry, and welcome to At The Bench's YouTube channel. The most obvious thing that you're going to use is a ruler. I totally agree with you. A ruler is basically very, very essential when you work it at the bench. This is a small little six inch ruler, 150 millimeters, 15 centimeters, ideal. Wanna make something a bit longer, bangles and so forth? Well then, obviously you're gonna need a longer ruler, a 12 inch ruler. 300 millimeters, 30 centimeters. These are the staple items that you're gonna need. But what if you wanna measure something a little bit more accurately, or you wanna measure the diameter of a wire, the dimensions of square wire? It's not that accurate. Even though you may have markings for half a millimeter on it, it's still not accurate enough. And you need to find out, uh, you've got a 2.5 millimeter jump ring that has to fit over a 2.5 millimeter piece of wire, but you need to know what dimensions that bit of wire is. So what are you gonna use? There are other means of measuring out there. The most obvious ones are gonna be something like this. This would be a millimeter gauge. It's uh, analog, there's no batteries. Batteries don't run out, don't need batteries for it. You just push down the button here and the dial spins round. Now, actually this isn't a millimeter gauge, well it, well it is, but it's a leverage gauge and I use this for measuring diamonds, but you get the basic idea. You can buy these pretty inexpensively now. These are really, really good because not only do you have the uh, ability to measure the diameter or the size in this little area here, you've got this little area down here that you can see that you can measure sort of inside settings. And say you wanna measure the depth of a stone, well then this little part down here will actually go between the underneath the setting, and this little part here will go on top, and you can measure the exact size of the stone, absolutely brilliant. And on this end here, you have an inside measuring device as well. And I must admit, this is absolutely brilliant, and I use this basically all the time, especially if I'm using burrs, because we can put a stone in here, close this up so we can actually read off the size of the stone, but then we can also get one of our setting burrs and put our setting burrs in the area where the stone is, and if the setting burr wobbles up and down, the setting burr is too small. If the setting burr doesn't fit in the gap, it's too big. It's really as simple as that. Also, you can buy slide rules. Yep, you can buy slide rules, the old fashioned style, analog style, with needs no batteries. This one I absolutely love. This is a really gorgeous little short one like this. I've also got a longer uh, version as well that we um, often use here on At The Bench. And battery operated. Now, my only concern with this particular model is it doesn't have an auto off. And I always forget to turn the thing off. I'm so used to just pushing the button, turning it on, putting it down, it automatically turns off. Unfortunately, this model doesn't. So that is the only drawback. The other slide rule that I've got, and to be honest, I can't find it. We've had a bit of a tidy up and a clear out and a makeover, and I don't know where it is. So, <laughs> but that one turns off, and I much rather that one, even though it's a little bit bigger. But this one's brilliant. It's exactly the same as the millimeter size, the leverage gauge. We've got this area here that yes, you can put your stone into. And again, likewise, you can get your burr, see if your burr fits. You've also got this end here, and you've also got the inside measuring end there as well. Again, absolutely brilliant. You can't go wrong with something like this. In fact, you don't even need to turn it on when you're measuring your burrs for your stones. Put your stone in place in here, close up that so the stone is nicely held, then get your burr. See if your burr fits in between the jaws here. And as I said, if it goes in nice and tight and the burr doesn't wobble, it's the perfect size for your flush setting, for argument's sake, or for your claw setting. Uh, battery operated, the batteries run out, especially on this one, because I do forget to turn it off. Um, that's a, a really, really short film. So those are the, the, the two main accurate 
tools that I do use. Obviously, we are limited to the dial on this. It reads it off in one tenth of a millimeter. Obviously, you can go in between the tenths and then you're looking at twentieths uh, of a millimeter. Yeah, something like that, which is pretty accurate. This chap here, again, works in, let me have a look, hundredths of a millimeter. Hundredths of a millimeter, this guy does. So this is really accurate. The advantage with this is, it also does inches as well if you want to work in inches, but I don't know who does these days. So millimeter, it'll work in hundredths of a millimeter. It's got a zero on it as well. So if you want to zero it and it's not quite accurate, just press zero. It'll reset the gauge, the dial here, and you're all set to go. Must remember to turn it off. Really, really accurate. Completely, completely essential pieces of equipment uh, here uh, when you're working at the bench. Rulers are ideal for working at rough lengths. Perhaps you want to make a ring shank, 56.5 mil, no problem at all. 56.8 mil, we'll just bring it down to 56.5, we'll round it up to 57 mil. You get the general gist of the idea. Rulers, great large measurements. These little toys here are essential when you're working um, at the bench because you need the accuracy, especially if you want to make sure that the claw is the right size, the right thickness, the right length. You want to make sure the openings, the holes are the right size. That drill that you've got in your holder there, what size was it? Come along, you can measure it, no problems at all. So grab yourself either a little small little slide drill, electronic one like that, or one of these millimeter gauges, you won't go far wrong. Don't forget, please subscribe if you haven't done so already and smash the little bell icon on the end there to be notified when films go live on our YouTube channel. Yet yeah, really quick film, but we have had somebody ask me, what do you use to measure fine, uh, fine measurements on at the bench? So. That's the reason why we did this film. Don't forget, please give this film a thumbs up if you like it, and please share it with your friends. I'd absolutely love you to. But in the meantime, my name is Andrew Berry for At The Benches YouTube channel. Take care. I will see you next time. Ta-da.